Welcome to Toy Polloi. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Ploy. Now if you're collecting Star Wars vehicles and especially the X-Wing, one thing that's really hard to get for the X-Wing at the moment is the wing guns. Now this is what a wing gun should look like and people are charging an absolute fortune for these on eBay uh, because they're often broken, they're often missing. So as you can see here I have a nice one which is off one of my X-Wings here and I have this broken one and this is probably the most common way you'll see the X-Wing guns broken. That's at the end, the sort of a longer thinner pole part of the x-wing has snapped or has uh, been chewed off and is missing so today i'm going to show you how to make a replacement end part for a vintage star wars x-wing gun so you'll need a couple of things to uh, make this gun first up is a packet of cheap pens now i picked these up from tesco's i think they were less than a pound for uh, 10 pens uh, but all we're going to need is the lid off one of these pens so i'll just take out a pen and we'll take the lid off because that's all we're going to need and then also you're going to need a lego antenna in black uh, because uh, this is the key part of this fix now you can pick these up uh, pretty cheaply i picked up a 10 of them uh, for under three pounds off ebay and i use them all the time so if you watch my videos you'll see me use these in a lot of fixes and this is the key component uh, for this restoration so the first thing we need to do is actually get the uh, broken gun ready. Now we don't need any of the thin part of uh, the gun. You can see this one is snapped slightly above uh, where the thin part joins the thicker sort of cylinder. So I'm going to use my plastic nippers just to carefully cut off that end piece so that we have a nice flat end to the gun. And that can be thrown away because all we need is this part. Now we are going to use the long part of uh, the Lego antenna to make the new pole. Uh, which comes out there and we'll construct the end out of the sort of thicker section of this antenna so we actually need to chop off the little sort of uh, lego tab hole at the end of it i'm just going to turn this around so i can carefully cut that off like so and we need to fashion this so that it looks like the little end uh, sort of peg that comes out here the little sort of pointy part of the x-wing gun so i'm just going to use a knife as you can see here, to carefully shape this down so that it's more of a sort of angled uh, bit of plastic rather than just a, a thing that runs in a straight line. Because if you look at the end of this gun, it sort of tapers a bit in. Uh, the thickness is about right and the length of this is about right, but you just want to sort of taper it down. So careful piece of cutting just to sort of taper the end in and we'll get something that looks quite nice. So after a few minutes cutting, you can see I just sort of tapered that end bit so it looks roughly like the original gun there. I think that's good enough. It's a little bit rough around the edges. I probably could file that down, but I think for the purposes of this demonstration, that looks pretty good. So the next bit we've got to make is this curved section. As you can see, I've actually just snapped that. That's a bit annoying. I'll have to glue that back in place. But uh, we're going to make this curved section here uh, that is the sort of, I don't know what you call it, but the sort of the, the uh, laser emitter sort of curved bit. And we're going to use the pen lid to do that. So I have here one pen lid from uh, the cheap pens. I'm just going to cut off the little clip because that just gets in the way. Now, using a knife, I'm going to cut. There's a slight ridge on the end of uh, this pen lid, which we don't need. So I'm just going to get my knife and cut off the ridge. like so, so we now have a nice flat end. And I need to cut off a sort of a cylindrical piece that matches the same sort of size of the original gun. And that gun piece is about uh, six millimeters. So we can use the uh, guide on this chopping mat to work out how far six millimeters is. And we'll chop that off like so. Now we only need half of this uh, little bit that we cut off so I'm just going to carefully again using the knife cut this exactly in half like so turn that round so 
So there we have a little U-shaped bit, which is starting to look about the same sort of shape as the original one. It's actually a little bit sort of thinner. So luckily with this plastic, you can just sort of bend it a bit. And it's quite uh, soft plastic, so we can bend it so that it matches the shape, as you can see, like that. And we're almost ready to go. Now these Lego uh, pieces all are standard sizes, so the thicker part of the Lego aerial is 3mm. So we need to drill a 3mm hole through uh, the centre of the little bit of uh, pen lid that we've made there. So I've just got myself my drill bit, which is 3mm, and I'm going to carefully do this. Now I would suggest you do this in a vise and onto a piece of wood, but for the sake of uh, filming I'm just going to do it here on my cutting mat and very carefully drill straight through. Okay, you can see I now have a hole through the pen lid and we can just very simply insert the Lego piece through that hole. And because the plastic's all quite soft and sort of pliable, you don't even need to glue this, you can just sort of push it in place. And there you go, you can see I've made the end of an X-Wing gun. Mine's actually slightly too long, so I'm going to just uh, trim that down a bit just to make it look a, a little bit shorter but uh, otherwise that's a pretty perfect uh, sort of replication of the end of the gun. Now we come to the final stage which is attaching the new end piece to the old gun. So what we're going to do again is drill a small hole into the end of uh, this original piece of the X-Wing gun. Uh, now again Lego, the, the larger sections as I said were 3mm, the thinner bit of uh, this aerial is 2mm. So I have a 2mm drill bit in my drill and again I'm just going to carefully drill a hole in the end of this. Again. I would suggest you use a vise. I'm doing this on camera, so I'm going to be very careful and do it by hand, but uh, a vise does make this a lot easier. Now you only need to drill in a very short way, because really all you've got to do is slot in a tiny amount of uh, the Lego aerial. I'm just actually going to trim this down to be a roughly the right length. If I hold this up against the original one here, I'm just going to chop this down so it's about the right length with a, maybe five millimeters of extra. And then I can see if this will fit inside the end here, which it does quite nicely. You can hold those two up together. It's slightly too long so I can drill in a little bit more of a hole uh, and then we can glue this in place. See how that looks. Yeah, pretty perfect. So let's uh, get that glued in. Now for gluing, I'm just going to use a little bit of uh, super glue. I'm just going to dab a small amount onto the end of the gun bit that I've just made. Just a very tiny amount. Actually, that's too much. So just dip that off, and then we can stick this in. Uh, and you make sure that the sort of uh, it's all flat together. If you know what I mean. So we've got a curved bit here lines up with. The sort of all the bulk of the detail. Uh, the original guns on the X-Wings themselves actually ran the other way, but the toys were wrong. So I'll just slot that in like so. And wipe off that bit of uh, super glue so it doesn't stick out. I think that looks pretty good. So we let that glue dry and then uh, we're done. And here we have it. This uh, one on the left here is the original gun, and this is the one with the replacement sort of end piece that I've constructed out of a piece of Lego and the cap off a pen that I bought very cheaply from Tesco's. And you can see the results are pretty good. If you actually had this on an X-Wing, I think you'd be hard pushed to tell that these two guns were different. The uh, Lego is slightly thinner than the original sort of end piece of plastic here, but I don't think that makes that much difference. If you've got this on display, you really wouldn't notice uh, that that was any different at all. So as a good way of saving what would otherwise be a broken uh, X-Wing gun and probably no use to anyone, uh, with a little bit of ingenuity and some careful cutting and drilling, we've got a new gun that can go back on to an X-Wing. So I hope this video has been of interest to you and if you'd like to help out Toy Ploy then please check out my Patreon page and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Toy Ploy. Subscribe for more great videos.